welcome back to the Nordic Kitchen. In honor of Nordicware's 75th anniversary, we've invited local celebrities and chefs to join us to help make some memories in the kitchen. Today, we have Paige Gaynor back with us. Welcome back, Paige. Thank you, it's so good to be back, Mindy. The last time Paige was here, she made a chocolate cherry bundt cake. And since it's the holidays, we invited Paige here to help us make some holiday cookies. Paige was the winner of the sixth season of the Kids Baking Championship on the Food Network. She's also gonna be a freshman at Spring Lake Park in Minnesota, and she's an advocate for juvenile arthritis. We are super excited to have you back, Paige. So tell us what we're gonna be making. So today we will be making some Yuletide gingerbread cookies using Nordic Wears Yuletide holiday cookie stamps. Awesome, let's get started. We need to combine our flour and our spices. So here we have some all-purpose flour that we are just going to transfer into another bowl. To make these very spicy, warm gingerbread cookies, we're gonna need some spices. The most obvious one being some ground ginger. So you just wanna add that in with your flour. And what other spice do you think of in the holidays than cinnamon? We will also be adding some ground cloves just to add a bit more of that earthy spice to our cookies. And just to balance out all of the sugar and molasses that we will be putting into the cookies later in the recipe, we'll be adding a few pinches of salt. So now that our spices and our flour are all mixed together, you can take this and set it aside. And now it's time to start mixing our wet ingredients. So the first thing you will need is some softened butter. Now you can use unsalted or salted butter, but I prefer to use salted butter because it adds a little bit more flavor to your cookies. So you just wanna put that in a large mixing bowl along with some brown sugar. You want to mix this in your stand mixer or with a hand mixer or with a whisk. Um, until the butter and the sugar are just combined. You don't want them too light and fluffy because then that will make the cookies rise more in the oven and it won't hold their shape. Now that we have our lightly creamed brown sugar and butter, it's time to add some more ingredients. So we will be adding one egg and then you want to take that back to the mixer until the egg is just combined into your butter and sugar. So we have now added our egg into our butter and sugar and now it's time to add the rest of our ingredients to the wet ingredients. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a few teaspoons of vanilla extract. And now the thing that gives all gingerbread cookies their color and their flavor, molasses. So now that our molasses and our vanilla are in the bowl with the egg and butter and sugar. Now it is time to once again go over to the mixer, mix this until combined, and then we will start to add our dry ingredients. Now that we have mixed our molasses and our vanilla into our wet ingredients, it's time to start adding the dry. This is about half of the flour, so it's just in the dough, and then you just want to mix that again until the flour is completely combined into the wet ingredients. Repeat the process, and when you're done with all of it, you should have a nice, stiff dough. So now that we have fully mixed in all of our flour into our wet ingredients, our dough is complete. The test to see if your dough is the right consistency is to take a little dough ball and squish it in your fingers and if it stays together and there's no dry crumbly bits that fall off of your dough ball then you know that your dough is the perfect consistency. Now that we have chilled our gingerbread cookie dough for at least 30 minutes now it's time to start scooping them out and stamping them. Squeeze that out into your hand and then roll it around in your palms until it forms like an, an actual solid ball and one of the tips that I use is when you're stamping the cookies so your stamp doesn't stick to your cookie, take your dough and roll it in some granulated sugar. This will push the sugar out to the sides when you stamp it and add a little bit more sweetness and it will prevent the stamp from sticking to your dough. Now that we have rolled our dough ball in the spiced sugar, it is time to stamp them out. So I'm using one of the Yuletide cookie stamps and what you want to do is just place your dough ball on the tray and you want to make sure that your cookie stamp is in the center. 
Then you just want to press with even pressure around all the sides and you just kind of want to roll it like that to kind of spread it out even more. Once you roll it around a little bit, if you lift up from one side, you should have your cookie nice and stamped. So now that these are all stamped out, it's time to bake them and you bake them at 375 for 9 to 10 minutes or until they're golden brown. Okay, it's been 10 minutes, my timer just went off, and now it's time to get our gingerbread cookies out of the oven. You can see just how well this recipe has held the cookie stamp design. I chose these cookie stamps to feature in this video today because they add so much detail and elegance and beauty to a plain cookie with minimal effort. If you look at this plain flat cookie, it's really boring, there's not much exciting going on. This cookie is very exciting and it's very festive and it brings you in the mood for the holidays. One of the best ways that you can gift these cookies to other people is by using a cookie bag and some festive ribbon and put those together and you have a great easy gift. Thanks for joining us today Paige to kick off our holiday season of baking. We're feeling festive and we're just so glad that you could come back and bake some cookies with us today. Well, thank you for having me and thank you for allowing me to come in and share my gift of baking with you all. Well, and we appreciate making some new memories in the kitchen.